the ice maker. When the temperature rises, we grab a refreshing soft drink. Yes, could I have a chicken sandwich meal with a large soda? This machine's scoopfuls of crunchy cubes help us keep our cool. What gives this behind-the-scenes hero the power to chill 7,000 drinks a day? Over 200 freeze-proof components work in unison. A compressor that squeezes the refrigerant to over 10 times the pressure of a car tire. A blisteringly cold metal jacket freezes water in 60 seconds. A stainless steel spiral lifts the ice to the top, where a rotating arm smashes through columns of solid ice to churn out almost half a ton of cubes every day, all year round. The ice maker guarantees a refreshing drink whenever you want it. But how do you generate so much chilling power from such a tiny machine? The ice maker creates enough ice to chill 7,000 supersized soft drinks every day. Key to producing this much ice, a powerful freezer unit. Made by workers at this 200,000 square foot factory in Georgia, they make 141 different machines, all dedicated to turning water into ice. Inside the ice maker, a 16-foot circuit of coolant-carrying pipes draws heat out of water. Welders carefully join copper tubes to seal off the loop. It's vital they remove any leftover moisture. This could turn to ice and reduce the machine's freezing power. This is going to be a full vacuum. Kevin gives the pipes a thorough clean. This vacuum is a deep vacuum, just like your vacuum cleaner. And this is to remove any contaminants from the piping and the brazing process. After a 30-minute vacuum, the refrigerating circuit is ready for its chilling dose of liquid coolant. The ice maker churns out crunchy cubes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But between mealtimes, there's less demand for icy drinks. The machine has an ingenious way to stay topped up with cubes, but never overflow. Under the hood of the ice maker sits a tiny sensor. It shoots an infrared beam onto the rising pile of ice and measures how much light bounces back. When the tank is full, the beam trips the sensor. This shuts down the compressor and kills all the freezing power to put the ice maker into hibernation. And make sure you don't end up with a floor full of cubes. Workers must test the ice making mechanics of each device before it leaves the factory. So whatever machine comes here, so we have to test it. Alush puts every machine through a full ice cycle. It must produce ice in under two minutes. I got all fittings connect here, so I'm gonna go connect the water now. I, I think now it's ready to start testing. All Alush can do now is wait. So right now, happens the ice is coming out, which means the unit is the successful, the means to pass the test, this ice is good. The ice maker. Creating cube after cube to cool us down when the mercury soars.